Praxis and today I'm going to be assembling the railings for which I made the balusters yesterday. I uh, pretty much spent the entire day yesterday just doing balusters. So there are these things here. I got them all sanded, cut to exact uh, lengths, and um, stained. Which didn't really seem like that much, but it's nice that they're done and now I can assemble these things. Uh, none of this stuff goes pr particularly quickly at this point because I'm uh, being kind of meticulous about everything that's going in. Like this piece here is the bottom where the balusters are going to go into. And this uh, right behind you is where it goes. It, uh, it's going to set right down in here. It's pretty snug, so I'm not going to put it in right now. Oh, maybe it will drop in. Nah, it's pretty snug. I'm going to have to squeeze that in. But I've got this kind of uh, tapered edge that stops right around where the stair ends. I've just been kind of uh, meticulous, you know, uh, getting everything smooth and sanded. And it, it, it takes more time to win it that way. The next step here is just to uh, glue and screw these things together. I'm just throwing two and a half inch screws through these one and a half inch boards. I'm going to do the, uh, the bottom first and then once that's all set I'll be putting the top onto it. Uh, gluing and screwing things together is a really great way of getting a nice and solid. The screws hold things together initially and you know long term uh, and the glue really solidifies things up. And the glue is important for this because I'm only putting one screw on the top and the bottom and that really wouldn't prevent it from twisting around. So having the glue is what keeps it from twisting around later on. So uh, next step, I'm going to put that block there. I'm going to take one of these guys. I've got a little dipstick for the glue. Get a little bit of glue on the end here. And these are all labeled on the end as to which, which railing they go to. For my project, it's pretty obvious because there's shorter ones and longer ones. And uh, that, that's pretty much it. I did have some weird sized ones for up the stairs. But uh, I just label everything just so you don't get confused. You know, if you're, you're stopping and going, stopping and going, uh, you can get a little confusing. I'm going to wedge this up against there. I've got marks right on here as to where this is supposed to sit. All right. And then put my weight down into it. It's nice and square, nice and lined up. And here we go. Whoop. No, that didn't go well. But just reset it. The glue does make it a little slippery. Alright. Okay, nice and lined up. Hopefully this time goes a little bit smoother than that. Okay, once it's in, I just make sure it's still lined up. There it is. Okay, and set that one in. So we got one of them right there. I'm going to do all the other ones, then put the top on, then it's going to fit in, and I've got all the balusters ready for doing the other railings as well. The goal is, at the end of the day, to have all the balusters in, with the exception of all the way upstairs because one of the walls is missing. That's it. Thanks for watching.